What is going on guys? It is your boy Bai2K and today we are back with episode number 7 of Mamba Mentality. Thank you guys again for killing the support on every single episode. If you guys do want to see this series continue, you guys already know the deal man. 248 likes from my boy Kobe Bean and this series will continue no problem. In the last episode though, we did end up getting 9 upgrades to add to this team. I've been kind of looking around and I have some ideas of what I'm going to do. Definitely going to look to improve the bench because the starters played really good. It's just our bench is so weak that we definitely need to improve that. The viewer challenge of this video though is going to be a triple double and it's to get four or five upgrades. Obviously, I'll let you guys decide that if we can do it. So if we can get a triple double in this episode, we will be able to get like five or four or five upgrades and see what we can do there. I'm kind of excited for that. I think that'll be fun because I actually almost dropped the triple double with Scott. Scotty Pippen um and the gameplay I did of him so yeah it's actually possible hopefully we can do that but uh let's get into these upgrades all right so you guys can see the upgrades we have made we made a lot of upgrades to this bench now we went from D'Lo to Lonzo that was two upgrades four upgrades to get Jordan Clarkson from his gold to his ruby um two upgrade or no yeah two upgrades to get uh Michael Beasley from an emerald obviously to a ruby Luke Walton and then two more upgrades to get Sapphire Cream to an Amethyst Kostas Antetokounmpo. Now, I was going to put in Amethyst Shaq. The only reason why I'm not is because, like, when we put Shaq on this team, like, I want to make a splash and I want to have a good Shaq. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to put that Opal on this team. When we can make that splash, and put him on here. So I'm kind of saving the excitement for that. Other than that, though, I'm actually okay with having Luol Dang there. His defense is still very good, and we're not going to go to him on offense. Um, we can actually run a nice little two-man game between Jordan Clarkson and Luke Walton off the bench. Um, even Lonzo. His amethyst is pretty decent. But yeah, the starters are going to remain the same for this episode. We still got some nice improvements. There, or not, not a nice improvement. But we still got some nice players in the starting five. With Nick Young, Trevor Reza, Bonga, Brooke Lopez. Um, Brooke Lopez is probably going to be the next one out. Um, I'm actually okay with this bench. Like I said, as long as they perform pretty well. Um, I might probably look to slide Brooke to the bench. And then upgrade Kostas that way. Same thing with like Ariza. He could be cool off the bench. Um... But yeah, we're going to get into this gameplay, though. Triple-double is the challenge. You guys are going to see the rules in just a second. Yeah, let's get right into it. Here are the rules of the series, guys. You guys can see them all on the screen. This is how we are going to earn our upgraded points to upgrade the team and help Kobe get some better teammates. These are obviously the updates from what you guys have requested. I hope you guys do enjoy this video, and let's get right into it. So you guys are going to see a record in the bottom right corner of your screen. That is going to be the playoff record that we are going to be playing with. You guys uh, know we talked about that in the last episode. Good little mid-range right there from Brooke Lopez. But uh, yeah, we talked about that, and that is obviously the record after our last episode. So basically what that means is we're going to be doing like a 12-0 series. Um, I'm not going to include it on the actual account just because... Um, Obviously, if I'm doing gameplays and stuff like that, obviously the record's going to get changed from stuff like that. So I don't want to get it changed up. All right, let's go. Good pass. Down to Ariza. Good layup. There we go. I like Kobe dishing this ball to start this game out. Really good looking for our triple-double. Um, that's what we're kind of going after here. So I have to see what happens. Let's go. Good defense. Stick with him. We're not worried about Clyde. Ah, Clyde's going right around me. Maybe I should be worried about Clyde. Good defense from Kobe. Let's go. We're there. No, no, no. We're there. So again, if you guys don't know how it's going to work, basically when we go 4-0, I believe, um, that'll be, or not 4-0, excuse me, when we go 6-0, that'll kind of enter us into the playoffs. Kobe wide open for a shot. Got to knock that down, man. Brooke Lopez with a nice little rebound. But yeah, we'll basically go into the playoffs if we're 6-0. and um, So again, 6-0 uh, and will be when we get into the playoffs. And then after that, we will have um, obviously like, you know, like the first round, the second round third round and then the finals when we get to the finals i would say that the finals is probably like obviously like our 11 and 0 game and stuff like that um let me know what you guys want to do as far as the point system goes for that because i know in other people's series and stuff like that they've done it like where it's like double the points and stuff like that so i will not mind doing that we cannot score this game to start this out like i don't know what is going on but we are literally missing everything Let's go, Ariza. There we go. Good green bean. Good pass from Kobe right there. He's already got three assists rocking. So, like I said, as long as we can start snagging some boards and getting some steals and whatnot, we might be able to actually accomplish this triple-double thing. But we'll have to uh, – it'll all depend on the rebounds and steals and stuff like that. I keep trying to get steals, and he's just not reaching for him. So, let's go. Good defense. I like that. Good defense again. We're here for the board. There we go. There's one. Good start. Let's go. We're actually going to get Bonga wide open here. Let's go. Good mid-range. I'll take that. Man, we are just missing everything. Let's go. Good defense from Kobe. Grab that board. There we go. Passes up to Bonga. Bonga going all the way. They're jamming that down. There we go. We are off to a great start right now. Going 
going up six. We just got to keep making sure that we're grabbing these boards and stuff like that. Let's go. Good defense. Stay with him. I kind of have to like hard off ball on Kobe for a little bit because I do want to make sure he is the one in the paint going for the rebound. My opponent's green in his shots. I definitely got to give him credit there. You love to see it when your opponent actually greens. All right. Oh, he played good defense there too. He kind of made me think that he was defending it. Let's go, Kobe. At the end of the first quarter, Kobe's definitely stuffing the stat sheet a little bit. He's got 4-3 and 2 as he gets a nice little steal right there. I will take that. Only problem is, is his scoring is actually not looking too good. That block right there is going to make him shooting 2 of 9. You guys definitely talked about wanting to see downgrades in the series as well. That is something I can definitely do if you guys do want to see that. Um, honestly, like we are just missing a lot of wide open shots like that. Good green right there. Really clutch coming in big for Kobe right there. I really needed that. I'm not going to lie. Because, uh, yeah. He ain't scoring too much right now. So we got to make sure that we can get these, uh, you know, easy stats and stuff like that. Because we still need these upgrade points no matter what. Doesn't matter what the challenge is. We'll, we still need those upgrade points. So let me know what kind of downgrade ideas you guys do want to see. And I did forget to talk about this earlier. Um, let me know too. Like I said, he really greened that. Let me know what kind of, you know, challenge you guys want to see in the next episode. That is very important. I need you guys to let me know. So obviously we can uh, figure out what we are doing. So... Like I said, be sure to be thumbing up your guys' or each other's comments and stuff like that. Kobe. Okay, like really? Let's go, Kobe. Good steal. Pushing this out. We're going to get Nick Young wide open in that corner. Easy wide open. Green Bean. Let's go. Taking the lead right back. You guys can see, like, from that layup we literally just missed. Like, unfortunately, our offense is just looking a little, uh, looking a little sluggish, to say the least. I mean, we just missed a wide open layup, but... It's all right. We'll bounce back. I'm actually going to be able to put the bench in here in a little bit. So that, that'll that be a good sign at least. We are going to keep Kobe in, obviously. So that backup two position, there's not really even a point of upgrading it now that I think about it. Because obviously we're focused on uh, elsewhere. I tried to cheese that rebound with uh, Kobe. I know you guys saw that, but it's all good. We're going to go all the way with Kobe. Damn, man. Missing again. Let's go back out the brook. Wide open. Good green bean. That was a good contest by my opponent, too. Kobe's definitely doing his thing, though. We're actually stuffing the stat sheet a little bit all around. We got rebounds. We got points. We got assists. We just got to keep doing our thing. Playing good defense. There we go. Way to stick with him. Watch that bot snatch back. We don't want that. Watch that bait to the corner. We're there. See, we just got to be able to get these steals too because we're in a lot of these passing lanes as well. Let's go, Kobe. Big greens, man, again. That seems to be the only shot we're able to knock down. He does have 10 points for us though right now, so that's what we kind of have to capitalize on here. Let's go, Ariza wide open, good green bean. Now we're starting to green our shots a little bit, and I think that's definitely gonna help us, you know, get some easy buckets and whatnot, because before we were definitely struggling. Good shot right there, I guess. Let's go. I, look, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm actually happy I matched up with this guy, because he is greening his shots, and there's nothing I love more than going up against somebody that actually knows how to green. Like, it's actually a good feeling. I smoked that release right there. We're gonna hit a full white as I'm talking about that. But uh, yeah, man, shout out to my opponent, man. If you're watching this video, shout out to you, bro. I'm actually happy that I'm going up against somebody that knows how to green a shot. Let's go. Good pass from Kobe. Good dunk right there. I believe that just gave him a double-double. Yeah, we're still slacking a little bit on these rebounds. That really is our only problem here. My opponent is just greening his shot, so I can't even be too mad at that. Like, like I said, I, I had a feeling we were going to have to try to do it with steals because my opponent is a little bit baited. Um, it's just, again, the fact that it's not able or it's not letting us actually get them. As we do get a nice one right there, though. Good pass from Kobe. Good defense again, man. I will credit this opponent 100%. He's playing a very good game. And I'm not going to lie. It's actually pretty fun like, to actually go up against somebody that's not really getting bailed. He's just playing good defense, greening his shots. It's pretty fun. Let's go, Kobe. That's going to be an easy mid-range pull-up. Good green. He's got 15 and 10, so there's going to be an upgrade point for us already. Give me that steal, man. Come on. Let's go, Kobe. Big shot. There we go. Finally greening a nice little open shot right there. I will gladly take that. We got Kostas in the game here. Again, hopefully can be a little bit more glitchy for us. Let's go, Kobe. Go all the way with that easy dunk in the paint. He's got 22, 3, and 10. Unfortunately, we do only have three steals as well. So this triple-double is looking a little, uh, it's looking a little impossible at the moment. Like I said, my opponent is greening a lot of his shots, and so am I. Like, I'm actually making a majority of my shots here. So, unfortunately, it's not looking like we're going to be able to get it. But my man Kobe Bryant, clutch and one in the paint. I don't know why you're pausing the game, because that was an open three anyway. Like, that was either an open three or a nice little dunk with Kobe, but hey, I'll take it. All right, just give me this free throw. 
Should be easy money. Let's go. 25, 3, and 10. Like I said, I'm actually going to switch to a zone for a minute and just kind of test the waters on this and see how well this goes. Because we might be able to bait him a little bit. That was actually just terrible defense on my part. We get lucky with a miss right there. One of very few shots my opponent did not green this game. We're going to kick the Alonzo in the corner. Easy greens. I will take that. Um, but yeah, like I said, we just got to figure out a way to try to get either like a sit or um, either rebounds or steals. Because at the moment, it's not looking too good. There we go, Kobe. There's another steal. I like it. Let's go give this to Kostas for some reason. I didn't even mean to do that. Back to him, though. We got Luke Walton. That was my very first shot I've ever taken with him. And that thing was easy money green. I will take that, man. Let's go. Look at my man Kobe, bro, on the glass like that. I did not expect him to get that at all. We got Lonzo wide open for that jump shot, man. Unable to knock that down, but I'm just impressed that he got that ball. So now we got four steals, four rebounds. I mean, we're kind of uh, kind of in the middle here of what we're going to do. We should actually have a lot more than four steals. Though. That's the only reason why I am a little cheesed here. That was good defense. But, uh, yeah, we've been in the passing lanes all game. Unfortunately, it's just one of those games where we just were not allowed to actually grab the ball. But it's all good because we're still playing pretty good here. Just got to keep doing our thing. We're going to get Kostas wide open in the corner there. Again, first shot I've ever taken with him, and that's a green as well. Let's go. Beautiful pass out. Wide open to Lonzo. Cashing him. Another three for us. We got a nice little 11-point lead here. Finally greening some shots. Knocking everything down. We're off to a really good start as well, but like I said, man, this triple-double, I really wanted to do it. It's just, it's looking impossible right now. We're just, we can't really snag boards, and on top of that, like I said, the steals just were not in our favor this game. Let's go, Kobe, easy green bean. I will take that. He's got 31 now, so at least we get an additional upgrade point right there. So we actually have a couple so far. We'll do the math and stuff afterwards. Good steal. Let's go. I'm trying to blow this out. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I'm actually trying to still drop 50 if we somehow can. Because 50 points is five upgrades, and that's a lot. So if we can score 16 points here in, like, two and a half minutes, I will gladly do so. We just got to make sure that he's pushing the tempo. I'm going to try to push this tempo out and hopefully be able to actually do that. We just got to make sure that we're continuously scoring. Kobe Bean all the way. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to drop 50 here because literally this kid has been just spam double teaming me every time I pick up the ball with Kobe. So unfortunately, I think we're going to have to kind of end it there. We are going to get a nice little three. I mean, unless Kobe can just go off in this last minute, which is still possible, I guess. But uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm going to try to like let him shoot. Okay, he's actually going to shoot the ball, so we might have a chance. There is a slight chance here. We can get this ball to Kobe continuously. I have a feeling he's going to be guarding it, though, heavy like that. Yeah, GG's. You guys can see the box score right here. 45 points, 4 rebounds, 14 assists, 5 steals, um, 3 turnovers, which actually isn't that bad, considering, like I said, he was double teamed the entire game. Um, but yeah, he shot 16 to 31, so he still was shooting over 50%, which is really good. 50% from three, uh, from three. 100% uh, from the line. He was he literally was responsible for 82 points Literally 82 points. That is insane. How many points did we score as a team? We scored 88 So he was responsible for 82 out of the 88 points. That is a legendary performance right there My opponent was like I said, he did his thing. He was graining his shots. Definitely shout out to him for that um, He definitely out rebounded me. He just had a lot of turnovers and that's like I said And he should have had a lot more we probably should have been able to complete it with the uh, um, with the steals but we still had nine, so I'm not really going to complain. We got the win, so we're 3-0 now. We just got to make sure we keep going. Like I said, 6-0 is when we technically hit the playoffs, and then I think we should do it where it's like double everything. Um, you guys know what I mean by that. Like, obviously, it'll be like double the points, so like for a win, it'll be two and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, we definitely played pretty good. Like I said, I think Kobe did amazing for actually being doubled the entire game. So you guys can see our record is now 3-0. and oh. Now you guys are looking at this team being like, okay, things look a little bit different from what just happened. Basically what I did was, like I said, in the game, we're not using our backup shooting guard. Kobe is going to play the entire game basically every single time. So we don't really need a backup shooting guard. So I just kind of put Lou Williams in there. He played for the Lakers, you know, for a little bit, and he's an Emerald. So basically Lou Williams is going to be the replacement for Lou Aldang. And then on top of that, um, we actually did put Robert Ory in here for Jordan Clarkson. Now... We did end up getting three upgrades at the end of this game. So, basically what I did was I put Trevor Ariza on the bench. Luke Walton's here to stay. I actually really like him. I like his release. I think he's a pretty good card. Kostas played really well for the minutes that he played. So, again, I'm going to keep him. But we do get three upgrades. So, one is going to be obviously upgrading from a you know ruby to an amethyst and then you guys did say an ami to a diamond is going to be two upgrades so that's going to be all three of our upgrades now honestly i'm actually really excited so like i said if you guys don't know where this robert already came from 
he is an upgrade from basically just uh, the um, you know the Jordan Clarkson that we weren't using so honestly now that we have this upgrade I'm kind of excited because there are some guys that I think would be fun to add to this team and the person we are going to be adding is Lamar Odom you guys can see 95 overall I'm actually really happy because this is like one of like Kobe's like goaded teammates so finally adding one of them to the squad. This is going to be the squad we head into the next episode with. If you guys, like I said, did enjoy this episode and want to see the series, keep hitting that like button. I'm actually really like excited now that we just added Lamar Odom. I actually might even record the next episode after this because like I actually kind of want to play with this squad now. Um, but yeah, the team is looking pretty good. Um, honestly, the only other person that I'm really excited to like look to add to this team is going to be Shaq. Um, and I, I think we actually have a pretty fun squad rock. And if Kobe could play the point guard position, it would have been perfect. Because then we could have ran like Kobe, Nick Young, Lamar Odom, Pau Gasol, and Shaq. But it's all good. We're going to have magic added to this team. But I think the team's actually looking pretty good with all these recent upgrades and stuff like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, peace.